Hey everybody, Joe Walden here, and in this video we're going to uh, look at the PowerShell scripts for interrogating remote servers and getting the DNS settings. Uh, I had a, a situation a while back where I had many servers that I need to, needed to verify that the DNS settings were properly set, and rather than log into, you know, 30 some odd servers to make sure that the DNS settings are correct, I decided to write a PowerShell script. So let's look at what I did here. Uh, I started out with my uh, standard boilerplate code block. Uh, this is a very simple code block that goes and reads a, uh, a uh, server list and puts all of the uh, servers uh, listed in the list into a servers variable. And we just cycle through each server. And if the server selected equals x, which means that I selected that one, then we go ahead and perform the work. Uh, that, there's, I have another earlier video uh, called Startup PowerShell Startup Scripts, and this is in that, that earlier video. So what we want to do here is we want to get the DNS settings, and to do that, we start with a very simple line of code here, which is uh, we have a variable here called networks, and what we're doing here is we're using the uh, get WMI object to uh, obtain the network adapter configuration for the server if the IP is an, uh, NIC card is enabled essentially if it is enabled all right so once we fill this uh, networks up because you know you don't we might have multiple NIC cards and that kind of stuff so it, that's why there's multiple items in this networks uh, object here so uh, let's see what we can we can pull up here because we, we really just want the DNS settings, right? So here, I can run this, and we're going to just get the DNS settings of each server, but we really don't know which server we have we're looking at or anything. It's not identifying much. So let's clean this up a little bit. Let's put a couple of uh, uh, things in here, like uh, right before we look at the NIC cards, let's go ahead and write out which server we're on okay and instead of doing DNS addresses like that let's change this out and what we're doing here is we're just going to write out the word DNS and put the values there so let's take a look at it now so there you go so there's my DNS settings uh, for my servers and just checking them quickly right now it looks like they are all set correctly okay and so that's that's this is pretty much the the script that I wrote and I checked all my servers at one time but I can show you quickly now since the video is only four minutes long at this point I can show you a couple other items I can add here and you can go ahead and uh, use this information on your own scripts okay I've added a, a few more lines of code here and what I'm doing is I'm getting the IP address, the subnet, the gateway, and if DHCP is enabled. These are, are off of the, the network object for each network. Let me clean this up a little further here because I like readable code. All right, so for each network and networks, I'm going through and uh, pulling these uh, properties out. So let me run that real quick that looks perfect there you go host 01 is a, uh, a Hyper-V server as well as host 02 and so host 01 has two NIC cards in it those are the settings for each of the NIC cards anyhow uh, that's it uh, there's the code right, right here the one item that's going to be, I'll just scroll right, right here to give you a chance to look at it. That's the networks. How did I get the networks? And that's it. We'll see you next time.